This too. morning I woke up <laughs> and I was looking over the uh, tweets and I saw a tweet from uh, L. Lynn Wood. He's a famous lawyer. We'll, we can get into some of the cases. He's, he had Nicholas Sandman, for instance, from Covington Catholic, and he was involved in the Richard Jewell case a while back. He, I think he represents Kyle Rittenhouse now and the Kenosha shooter who defended himself. And uh, he's he's working on the cam- on the, uh, the the campaign on the uh, challenges, and he put out a tweet at two thirty five this morning. Time now to rest, comfortable in my belief that real Donald Trump won a historic landslide victory across nation on November third. Be patient. Biden will never be president of our nation. To the contrary, Biden, along with many others, will be an inmate. Be patient. Trust Trump. Joining us now is Lynn Wood. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, that encouraging tweet that uh, that really improved my mood. And I'm sure hundreds of thousands, if not millions of other people this millions. morning, Lynn Wood. Well, thank you, Howie. And it's a pleasure to speak with you. I, I, that tweet was at 2.35 a.m. And uh, that not only speaks to, I think, the, the time and effort that uh, I've been putting into this, but really it reflects almost round the clock efforts by members of the legal profession and ordinary people, people of this country, that are determined to not only uncover the truth, but to expose the truth. And when all is known, I am 100% confident that Donald Trump will be president of the United States for four more years. And I'm just as confident that Joe Biden and the people like him that have been trying to steal this election and committing crimes for years, they're going to all go to jail. This was a well-planned, probably almost for two decades, uh, attack to overthrow our government. Was it uh, well done in the sense of trying to hide the fraud? Sure. But it was too massive. Donald Trump surprised even the enemy by the wide margins in which he won in the key states they had targeted to steal. So in the middle of the night, they started having to produce tens of thousands, in some cases hundreds of thousands, of fake paper ballots. They had set that up with COVID. So will this be resolved by the courts? Yes. But I don't believe that it necessarily has to be resolved by the courts before the people in this country fully recognize by the irrefutable evidence that Joe Biden is illegitimate, his votes were fraudulent, He tried to steal this election, and he failed. So the people of this country will actually do what the people in this country are supposed to do. The people will decide who the next president of the United States will be. It will be confirmed by the courts in terms of the illegality of the fraud. But between now and when all these deadlines come to pass, the evidence that will be put out over time will convince any fair-minded and objective American, even many who did not support Trump, that there was a concerted, calculated effort to steal our government and our freedom. And in the process, the record will show that they themselves killed many people in this country. These people are despicable. They're criminals. Going forward, I'm confident there will be no more corruption in the White House. Freedom's going to reign, but it's going to be difficult. But when it's over... Things in this country are going to return to the days of when we lived a truthful life and we get rid of all this swamp, these swamp creatures who have used our government, used our taxpayers' money to stick it in their own pockets, like Joe Biden, like Bill Clinton, like Hillary Clinton, like Barack Obama. Well, I, listen, the timing of all of this, I don't know anything about. I'm sure this will proceed on the timing that our president sets forth. I would like to think that over the next several days that we'll learn increasingly more about the evidence that establishes the crimes that have been committed so that within a period of time, reasonable period of time, the evidence is going to have mounted up to a point where the people know what happened. They will accept that it was a fraud, a theft of our election, And then the people will demand justice and accountability. We've been waiting for that from the Jeffrey Epstein matter. We've been waiting for it from the John Durham matter. We've been waiting for it from the Hunter Biden laptop, the Anthony Weiner laptop. We've been waiting for it now for the election theft and fraud. 
all of these things are going to be revealed. Every lie, every lie, with time, will be revealed. The mainstream media, the people you've been suing, God bless you for doing it. They're going to say, they're, <laughs> they're going to say, oh, it's over. It's over. What these guys, those get Lynn, Linwood and Howie Carr and all, everybody who's listening and watching them. They're, they're conspiracy theorists. Well, if conspiracy theorists, that, that, I've heard that phrase. I know what it was developed to do to demean people who tell the truth, people who connect the dots. Don't forget that one of the major culprits is one of the most corrupt organizations in the world, the CIA. Oh, Trust me, they've been trying to corrupt this country since the 1950s. President Eisenhower said when he gave his last speech to the country before John F. Kennedy was inaugurated that the greatest threat to this country was not external, it was internal. It was the military-industrial right. complex. When, yep. they are un- when that's uncovered, there's going to be a lot of people in the CIA and the national security agencies. They're going to be in jail, too. But let me give you some really, really, really good news. All of these corrupt people in the media that have served for money as the propaganda tool, CBS, ABC, NBC, CNN, oh boy, CNN, the Washington Post, New York Times, Atlantic, Mother Jones, you name the list. They're going to be destroyed, too, because they will have no credibility at all. The days of watching the mainstream media are over because they're going to be revealed as liars and they fell for it, but they didn't really fall for it. They were part of it. They're all going down, Howie. We're going to have a new day in America. I want everybody to feel better about this because it's all going to end good. Trust me. Justice will be served. This country is going to return to being a country of truth. We've been a country of lies for too long. 